Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert, and this is a review I've been waiting to do for two years. Back at NAM 2015, we first got a glimpse of the beta of the prototype of this microphone, and now it's here. It's mine. And Trevor and Lisa, you are not getting it back. This is the long-awaited Mercury from Sontronics. It's a variable multi-pattern valve condenser, and this thing is a stunner. Uh, I have to first of all apologize for the state of my voice. Uh, I think that might have something to do with cheerleading, screaming, and many and various other things. Stories to be told later. But this thing is amazing. Uh, you're hearing my voice, obviously, through the croaks and the growls. Um, but there's no processing, no nothing. I'm obviously having to be a little bit careful of P's and B's and pops and things because I don't want the pop filter obscuring the view of me or it, quite frankly. Um, but this is an absolutely beautiful microphone. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now on female vocals, on my vocal. Unfortunately, nothing that's cleared, so I can't really play anything to you. But of course, there'll be a track later. There's always a track. It's the law. Um, this thing sounds amazing. Uh, it just seems to lend itself to absolutely anything. Um, acoustic guitar, obviously, is a given. Uh, vocals, acoustic instruments. Um, sounds great on violin. Sounds great on cello. Uh, percussion. You're going to hear all these sort of things later on. Certainly percussion, acoustic guitars. Um, no vocal today, because quite frankly, my voice really isn't up to it. But um, this thing sounds spectacular. Uh what can I say? It's built to the usual level that we've come to expect from Sontronics. It's built like a tank. Uh, it's slightly bigger than what we're used to. The Aria um, was quite a slender beast, whereas this has gone for the whole chunky tank thing. It's dual diaphragm, meaning variable patterns. And on the power supply down there, we've got a nice, big, chunky rotary. Um, it's not really an encoder, obviously, but a, a potentiometer, say. And sorry if that's the wrong term. Uh, between Omni all the way through to figure eight. Uh, what can I say? I want a pair. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. The lovely thing about this mic is that even though it is the top of the shop when it comes to the Sontronics range, it's still not an overly expensive microphone. Um, and one of the things I really like about it is we all go on about the proximity effect, and of course, um, we can get we can counteract that slightly with the use of the variable patterns. But there's really something rather nice about getting up close and personal on a microphone and getting that real in-your-face kind of whispery vocal sound. Or leaning back, getting some air, getting some kind of room tone into it and being out of belt. It sounds a bit wrong, but hey, it's a review. Um, I really can't say enough lovely things about this mic. I've been waiting for it for so long. Even in trade show environments, I've been trying this thing going, <clears throat> it's going to be amazing. And it doesn't let you down in any way shape or form the sound as, as i think you can tell as i hope you can tell is thick and rich but there's still plenty of top end there's plenty of top end bite um so of course it comes in a lovely kind of case thing with the shock mount the power supply the bamboo box for the microphone itself the multi-pin connector cable between the mic and the power supply and obviously the three pin what we refer to as kettle plugs um to actually run the power supply other than that, the power supply is a fairly simple beast. We have the input for the microphone, we have the output to XLR, we have a pad switch, and the variable pattern selector, which is really, really nice. It's got a nice positive feel about it. One of my other favorite features on this and on the Aria's power supply is the tube ready. Really? Tube, not valve? Hey. Um, Really good indication of when things are nice and ready to go. Doesn't take long to warm up, but the valve in here has to be ready to do its thing and make its loveliness. So after all that eulogizing, I'm sure you're thinking, where's the rub? But trust me, there really isn't one. This thing does sound every bit as good as I was hoping it would do. And for that reason, it's getting a... Pro Tools Expert Editor's Choice. I am so close to selling almost every other microphone I own because this thing sounds so good. Short of the Aria and this together, what a pair that's going to be. Um, quite frankly, you can keep your Shaws and your AKGs. This thing just sounds magic. 
So enjoy the track. Uh, no vocals this time, unfortunately, because quite frankly, it wouldn't be a pleasant noise. But um, for now, I've been James from Pro Tools Expert, and we'll see you again soon for some more gear talk.